Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, we're taking a look at some gameplay of all of the new unreleased weapons here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. These are all the guns that are part of the weapon progression tree, so we can see what actually is in store for Modern Warfare 2 releases in a couple of weeks. So that being said, the like on this video is going to be 400 likes. If you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also turn those post notifications. And speaking of gameplays, Outplayed is absolutely perfect if you are a Call of Duty player or content creator in general. It's a free to use software that has over 300 supported games. It records all of your kills, deaths, and captures all of your games without having to worry about a thing. Never miss that perfect gameplay, never miss that tactical nuke, and you can share this all to your friends with the press of a button. So, with all being said, make sure you guys check out Outplayed, down the link in the top of the description, and let's get back into gaming. Thank you guys for sponsoring the video. Alright, so this first weapon is going to be called the PP-19 Vityaz. Now, you guys remember from Modern Warfare 2019, we had the PP-19 Bison. This is part of that weapon tree. So, you guys can see here, this one only has like a 30-round magazine. Um, it doesn't look like the PP-19 Bison, which is going to be in the game, by the way. Inspect looks kind of cool. It honestly looks like an AK-74U in a way. You guys can kind of see here, just based off the inspect. You guys can also kind of see based off the iron sight. It gives me that AK-74U vibe that we have here in Modern Warfare 2. So obviously a lot of the weapons that we saw in Modern Warfare 2019 are returning in Modern Warfare 2. Just part of the weapon tree. Now we also have the Barrett. So the Barrett MRAD this is actually going to be a bolt action sniper rifle. Typically when we saw the Barrett in previous Call of Duties, it was actually a semi-automatic weapon. You did not have to cock it back. This is going to be a different variation of this sniper rifle. Now, do I think they're going to actually have a legitimate Barrett that is going to be semi-automatic? Absolutely. Maybe they're going to kind of have it tree off of a battle rifle. There's a lot of different ways they can go ahead and implement weapons here in Modern Warfare 2. And I like the weapon tree progressive system. Let me know. Down in the comment section if you guys think this is cool if you guys think this is kind of over the top but in a way it kind of goes ahead and like kind of kills the weapon grind system but at the same time it allows you to go ahead and have access to a lot of other guns a lot faster and you do not have to waste a bunch of time you know leveling up attachments you guys can see here um the gun literally looks like the barrett but just with a bolt action variation so this is the barrett mrad I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Now, obviously, we have the RPG-7 uh, as a launcher. This is going to be, you know, something that we've seen in every single Call of Duty. There's always going to be launchers in Modern Warfare. You can't get away from it. This is going to be fun to use. I could definitely see a lot of trolling um, in Search and Destroy and Ground War. So, so we have the Remington 870. Now, this is actually kind of cool because we actually had this weapon in Black Ops Call of Duties. We had it in Black Ops 2. And I was black back in Modern Warfare 2. So um, the gun sound effects sound really cool. I like how it has like that deep echoey kind of sound. And the attention to detail is pretty gnarly on here. You can actually see like the Remington uh, engraving on the side of the gun here as well. The, the ID, the serial code. It looks pretty cool. I'm liking it. I really am enjoying the attention to detail here in Modern Warfare 2. So the Remington is back, y'all. Is back. Inspect. Looks nice. We have the Expedite 12, which is, you know, obviously not going to be, you know, the Remington. Here we go. PP-19 Bison. I knew it was going to be back. The PP-19 Bison coming back to Modern Warfare 2. We had this in the original Modern Warfare as well. Honestly, it was one of my favorite SMGs. Um, it looks just like the PP-19 from Modern Warfare 2019 as well. The Iron Tights look the same. The Inspect, for that matter is pretty similar as well you guys can see it literally is going to be the same gun but obviously there's going to be some crossover we just have the tree system here for modern warfare 2. the reload inspects pretty cool you can flip the magazine i kind of like it because the other one had like you know the standard you know banana mag this one actually has the drum so oh ah, man the browning 725 the model 725 is back man the double barrel shotgun i know a lot of people uh, we're very, very skeptical about this gun returning. Now, there are some leaks. There are some teases that a lot of these weapons, especially the shotguns, are going to have the incendiary 
capability with the magazine um in the ammo type so i'm really curious to see how this is going to play out imagine having a 725 with incendiary rounds we're obviously gonna be able to cut the barrel off do a saw it off oh this is gonna be definitely fun and annoying at the same time but it sounds badass i like the way the guns sound in this game like the attention to detail man like this looks good the ak-105 so we have a variation of the ak-47 um this is gonna be probably a lighter caliber round sounds pretty badass it kind of almost looks like the 70 for you a little bit as well um cool let me know what you guys think about this i like the weapon tree we have a bunch of different weapons that we could create off of just one version and i think that's definitely good for customization and a lot of these attachments remember are going to be kind of stemming off of each other so once you unlock one odds are you're gonna have a bunch of attachments unlocked for the other so you're not gonna have to waste the time leveling up a gun to make it good you can literally you know jump from the ak seminary for you the ak-47 the ak-105 here and have like all the attachments almost already unlocked which is perfect man i love that and it's gonna work with dlc weapons as well now we have the scar h now we have the scar l in multiplayer right now as a pre-order bonus and that gun is literally broken you guys can see here um this is only going to be the 20 round magazine the one of the beta has the 30 round this is the heavier version um this is going to be a train i can definitely tell it's going to be hitting like a truck um it looks just like the scar from you know modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 we had the scar l so i'm really excited to go ahead and get my hands on this it has some recoil but with the right attachments we should be able to control it now we get the ak-103 um this is going to be the ak-47 now they obviously here in modern warfare 2 they have these kind of weird names and 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 numbers behind them obviously this one is going to be uh the 47 the one we saw previously is most likely to be some type of ak-12 variant this is going to be the 7.62 and the one previously is going to be the 5.56 caliber so they don't have the licensing so they can't technically call it the ak-47 but this is actually what this is here i'm liking it um it looks cool sounds badass it literally looks like the standard issue ak-47 and the inspect is going to be pretty close to it as well you guys can see here it's the ak-47 standard issue 30 round magazine hey got the mp7 man the mp7 is making a return i think we all knew the mp7 it's gonna come back um this is definitely gonna be a fan favorite gun in my personal opinion it looks like the mp7 that we've known and loved modern warfare 2 modern warfare 2019 sounds badass obviously rock this with extended mag silencer and get some nukes fast fire rate great iron sights low recoil this is gonna definitely gonna be one of the better smgs i'm curious if you can actually go ahead and you know convert that to an assault rifle and we have the rpk right here it's gonna be a light machine gun damn got a big ass magazine but this is a, a light machine gun that i think we all knew was going to return they had this in like all the modern warfare call of duties you can make the rpk back in modern warfare 2019 off the ak-47 that that's kind of where we had the first kind of you know taste of the weapon tree they just went ahead and went tenfold this year and actually went ahead and you know renamed you know guns within the same tree but i'm really enjoying this um this looks badass sounds dope too the the sound design the sound team did a great job this year in my personal opinion great job see the textures in the magazine the wood barrel i mean it, it this is this is what it this is what we needed in my personal opinion i like it we've got the bipod there badass badass but let me know down in the comment section what y'all think man what gun are you mostly excited for here in modern warfare 2 multiplayer honestly i'm excited to go ahead and get my hands on the ak 103 ak-47 uh, this is going to be sick really excited to go ahead and check this out i'm also going to be excited to go ahead and get my hands where is it at where is it at here we go the pp19 bison definitely going to be a fan favorite weapon here in modern warfare it's going to be goaded and i am obviously going to be really 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 excited to go ahead and get my hands on the mp7 i think we all are the mp7 it's the staple in Call of Duty. Cannot wait to go ahead and drop some nukes. Wanted to make this video to let you guys know that your fan favorite weapons are coming to Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. It's been your boy Ears, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.